Hello folks and welcome to North Texas Hunting and Outdoor Adventure. Hello folks and welcome back to another hunting episode. I'm doing a hog hunt this evening. Man, it feels nice right now. Check out the, look right here, 79 degrees. Um, I take that any day. Um, got the corn uh, out ready and I got uh, some corn over here. Yeah, there's a picture right here of the, I am hoping I can get more than three with one shot. That is my record. And uh, let's see if I get at least four with one shot with this 338 Lapua. I got the power right here. I should have brought the full metal jackets, but I forgot those. But if it gets dark, I got the 300 blackout with the thermal scope. But soon you're going to see the new, uh, the PSAPA uh, 10, the 308. I should be getting that uh, Monday or Tuesday. And then uh, I'm going to install the ATN Thor 4 on it. It's the uh, uh, 680, I believe, uh, 4 to 40. So it's going to be nice. So here's a picture of it right here. So I'll have a the unboxing of the, the 308. But pretty soon, uh, probably, and I don't know if next weekend, but I'm going to shoot for that. Uh, have it ready, sight it in, and... Um, I'm excited and I can't wait to show you some uh, footage from the new thermal that uh, that I purchased. But I have had, I have killed a lot of hogs with this 300 Blackout. But the 300 Blackout, uh, it's good for close range, but anything beyond 200 yards, I don't really, uh, I don't even take a shot with it. But with that 308 and that new scope, oh, these hogs are in trouble. All right, folks. All right. Let's see what happens. Right now it's 241. Uh, probably hunt here to about 10. So hopefully something shows up. And um, But the future videos, I will have video of the actual kill. So that's the only thing that, that I've been complaining for the longest time. I used to have right it up here. See right here had an output and I had a little recorder that was attached external and that was attached right here but after so many shots it couldn't handle the recoil on the 300 blackout so it stopped working so that's why I haven't had any footage of my hog hunts at night but now I'm gonna be able to show you guys the actual uh, kill when uh, when it gets dark so anyway just hang in there and pretty soon I'm gonna have that kind of footage that kind of hunt and uh, I'm excited like a, like a kid in a candy store all right well if you are new and this is your first time here and you want to you know get notified when I upload new videos why don't you subscribe and turn on the notification bell that way you'll be notified when I upload a new video all right right now it's time for a thumbs up all right guys I'll be right back well folks it is uh, 6 30 right now just wanted to give you an update I haven't seen anything the only thing I've seen is uh, cows I've seen a few doves but you can't shoot doves at the feeder it's not legal so it's, the sunset is at 7 34 something like that so so I got a feeling that maybe right at 7 30 or maybe 8 o'clock the hog will be coming out so I will be ready for them so I just wanted to bring you just wanted to give you an update I haven't seen any deer activity. All right, I'll be right back. 
I was hoping that I would actually harvest the hog during the daylight so I can film the, uh, the kill, but I got the feeling these hogs are gonna come out right at, either right at sunset or probably, it might be nine or 10 o'clock, I don't know. I'm not sure how long I'm gonna hunt tonight, but I will, I'm just hanging in there, I'll be right back. Well, it's 7.32, two minutes left of daylight. I actually have three does. I got one over here. And there's two over here. Oh, looks like there's another one over there by the, by, by the protein. Well, unfortunately, it's going to be dark soon, so I'm not going to be able to film the kill. But in a week or so, I'll be able to film with that new thermal. All right. If I do, I do have some hog lights. And I know it'll be too dark to film. But if I do kill the hog, I will get my Polaris and turn the lights, the big old bright lights, and take some pictures and video. That's if a uh, hog decides to come out and play. All right, I'll be right back. Well, folks, it is 8.35. Didn't see any hogs, but I did set the uh, hog trap by the pond, and I think there's something in there, because I don't know what it is. I hope it's not a, a doe or a buck, but I hear I hear something in that trap. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go back to the campsite. I'm gonna stop by the pond and uh, see what's in that trap. All right, uh, so let's see. Let's go, to the, let's go to the hog trap and let's see what's in there. All right. 